Hello everyone, Newborn Investor here and welcome to another video. This week, we are back with another IPO and it's the initial public offering of Outbrain, an online content recommendation company. Outbrain works with major websites to display sponsored content driving traffic to Outbrain's customer websites. With online advertising spending at all-time highs, is Outbrain IPO worth watching? In today's video, we are going to talk about it and many more, so make sure to stick around as we are starting right now. Outbrain provides digital media content and recommendations to websites worldwide. The company has been in operation since 2006 and has been growing aggressively producing profits and free cash flow. However, Outbrain has been facing stiff competition throughout and its prospects completely depend on the demand for online advertising. So with competition on the rise, will Outbrain be able to put up an impressive run? We will get to it in a minute, but before that, if you like the video and find it valuable, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate your support as it keeps me motivated to put in the long hours for making these videos. All right, let's move on. Outbrain enables digital media owners to provide their users with an experience that is personalized and relevant to their interest while generating revenue through highly engaging content recommendations and advertisements. The company's recommendation engine heavily relies on artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms for delivering targeted ads. 15 years since inception, the company has been able to onboard thousands of customers which includes top media clients like CNN. In 2020 alone, Outbrain delivered an average of 10 billion recommendations daily for over 20,000 advertisers on its platform. The company expects to raise $200 million in gross proceeds from the initial public offering of its common stock, offering 8 million shares at a proposed midpoint IPO price of $25. Outbrain plans to use the cash for research and development, sales and marketing, working capital, and possible future acquisitions. Post-IPO, Outbrain expects to have over 53 million shares valuing the company at $1.4 billion considering the IPO price of $25. Outbrain plans to go public on July 23rd and will be listed on NASDAQ under ticker OB. According to a market research, digital ad spending is expected to reach $455 billion in 2021, out of which 55% will be spent on display ads. As more and more consumers are shifting towards online media, the spend on digital ads is set to increase exponentially. However, Outbrain is operating in a very competitive market. Its growth is completely dependent on acquiring new customers and retaining existing customers. As consumer traffic is centered around major social media platforms, the majority of the ad spending happens there, making these platforms a competition to Outbrain. Outbrain's competitors include social media giants like Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, Twitter, and digital ad companies like Pubmatic, Tabula, and Magnite, to name a few. Like most companies pursuing an IPO, the company was able to project some good numbers. Revenue is on the growth side with the company generating $767 million in 2020 compared to $687 million in 2019. Cross profit was $165 million in 2020 up from $142 million in 2019 representing year-over-year -year growth of 16.4%. The company is profitable with a net income of $4.4 million in 2020 compared to a net loss of $9.6 million in 2019. Finally, as of March 31, 2021, the company had $95 million in cash and $246 million in total liabilities, which to me is an okay balance sheet. Now, what's my take on Outbrain's IPO? To me, the firm has some solid growth prospects and the company's accelerating revenues confirms that notion. On top of that, the total addressable market for the company is only set to expand. This will further fuel the company's revenue growth. In addition to solid financials, billionaire Seth Klarman has expressed a non-binding interest to purchase shares of up to 9.9% of the total shares offered at the IPO price. This could probably cause the stock to take off on the IPO day. However, my major concern is that the lion's share from digital ad spending is currently captured by social media giants and it is only set to increase. So even though I'm interested in the IPO, I may not be looking at Outbrain for the long term. 
To me, Outbrain is a swing trade and that is exactly what I'm going to do. Now, I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think about Outbrain's IPO? Leave a comment below with your answer and I'll be sure to follow up with you. Also, if you liked this video and found it valuable, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I really, really appreciate your support. So until you hear from me again, stay safe and thanks for watching. Bye.